hashtag answer us YouTube. My first ever YouTube strike. Well, I will be giving one million subscribers. Okay, we can start off with the hashtag answer is YouTube situation. And what exactly was this? Well, there's this YouTuber named Critical and he's basically a commentary channel. He talks about whatever he feels like talking about and he uploaded a video titled Road Rager Learns a Hard Lesson in which he reacts to a video where these people dressed up as animated characters basically jumped his one dude. And then YouTube took it down for violating its community guidelines. So what does any regular YouTuber do when this kind of stuff happens? Well, they tweet at Team YouTube on Twitter and see if they could get it fixed. And what should have happened was that YouTube would have said something like, oh, we messed up and then they would apologize. But YouTube said that their video did violate its guidelines and that it was going to stay down. So Critical kept calling them out on Twitter and even uploaded a video on the situation that same day. One of my videos was taken down called Road Rager Learns a Hard Lesson. It's a fake staged video in a Russian dash cam. I was just making jokes about it and YouTube removed it for violent and graphic content. I've never done this shit before but I really think YouTube needs to answer for what is going on with this manual review team. There is so much bullshit and so much that doesn't make sense. There are so many things that I think YouTube needs to change. So for the first time in my life, I actually do think a hashtag does need to be trending. Maybe they'll listen to that. I don't know if they ever have in the past because I don't really pay attention to Twitter hashtags, but I was hoping if something like hashtag answer us YouTube could get trending, maybe then they'd pay attention because it seems like the only way to ever even get contact with YouTube for most people is through Twitter. The hashtag did end up trending, but then he later called out a Markiplier video where he also reacted to that video and was asking YouTube where his strike was. Markiplier agreed with Critical and asked Team YouTube where it was. Now, we didn't really think that he was going to get a strike, but YouTube doubled down on that decision and took down the Markiplier video as well. Now even more people were mad at YouTube for their actions here. But then, YouTube backtracked on their decisions after the backlash and reinstated the videos and removed the strikes. And now everyone was happy. During the situation, Markiplier uploaded a really good video talking about what was going on. Last night, I received my first ever YouTube strike. And it was for violent and graphic content. Who's making these calls? We don't know. Who's giving these answers? YouTube doesn't know. Who's talking to YouTube in YouTube that YouTube has to fight YouTube against? Or YouTube has to check YouTube with? Who knows? The whole video is great in that it explained what happened and why it was not good, while also giving solutions to the problems at hand. And it was also really cool to see a massive YouTuber like Markiplier bring attention to this and talk about another YouTuber like Critical. And speaking of Critical, he also uploaded a video after. I can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it. We did it. I want to give a huge thank you right away to everyone who supported everything from the last video. The hashtag we started, hashtag answer us YouTube, was trending number one. And I think it was extremely important in getting a lot of these things solved. So huge thank you. I'm happy to announce the Road Rage video is back online and the strike is gone. We have fucking won. This has been huge. To my knowledge, this is one of the few times YouTube has ever overturned a decision that they've claimed is absolutely final. So this really is a very big deal. All right, with that dub in our mind, let's see what's going on in the Mom's Basement podcast. So this guy, this guy, I mean, what we're trying to get at is this guy has used friends. It's a difficult backstab- story to tell well, wait, 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 because it's wait, so complicated and convoluted. Me, right? Jesus, I'm trying to say the last part. You're just talking over me. All right, we'll get on with it. I'm trying to explain it. And then you're like, oh, it's difficult to understand. Okay, we want me to just shut up then. You can do it by yourself. Well, Jesus just get on with it then. Christ. Get on with it, you fuck. <laughs> Jesus. You fucking interrupting piece of shit. Anyhow. I don't know if any of you guys watched the Food Theory channel, but I was watching one of their new videos on the Chuck E. Cheese pizza, and then this moment popped up. But it was a little over a year ago when this conspiracy theory blew up big time here on YouTube. When a YouTuber who shall not be named went to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, man. Then we had Brawadis upload a video titled, She's Leaving Me for Another Guy. And no, they were not current boyfriend and girlfriend. She was his ex, and he asked her to be his girlfriend, but she said no. And the reason for this being was because she was basically seeing someone else. This resulted in her losing tons and tons of followers on Instagram. Brawadis then uploaded a video basically telling his viewers to calm down, but has since privated that video. And then we had Cavos upload a content nuke video on I'm Alex, which was then followed by an interview with Slazo. Oh, and you thought one content nuke parody video was good? Boom, here's one by Nicholas DeOrio. You want another one? Boom, here's one from Turkey Tom. Actually, those videos were pretty good. I'd recommend. Mr. Beast held a challenge where the winner would get shouted out so that they could get a million subscribers. In this video, I will be giving one million subscribers to one of these four small YouTubers. Woo!
I'm gonna need you to put your hand on my diamond play button. Okay. Whichever one of them takes their hand off last gets a shout out at the end of the video. And after many grueling hours for the competitors, we got a winner. Oh this is the guy right here. Take your finger off. Oh, okay. Trip. You can now say your channel name and it will not be bleeped. Zealous. And it worked. Zealous got over a million subscribers in no time, so congrats to him. I went to go check out his channel and watch his newest video to see what he was about, and it's very resembling to Mr. Beast's videos. What would you do if Mr. Beast himself personally invited you to come compete in one of his challenges? I personally wouldn't shave my freaking head a week prior. I but holy crap! If you're on this video, it's because you just watched Mr. Beast's video or you're one of my OG subscribers. And I don't know what's happening. We're literally about to hit 1 million subscribers like that. Not only was his energy a lot like Mr. Beast, but he was also giving back in good ways like him. This is all the food that was inside my pantry and we're gonna give it all away to the homeless shelter at least. What they accept, I don't think they're gonna accept the open stuff, but most of this is actually sealed. This is the entirety of my ad revenue from last month. I made $733.50, not trying to flex or anything. What is that? We're gonna go into this diner and give it all away in one single tip. I'm interested to see if he could use this massive push for Mr. Beast and take full advantage of it and just grow his channel even more. But we'll see how it goes. Then we had Dixie D'Amelio and Addison Ray face off in a boxing match. What were these two fighting for? I don't know. Maybe they were fighting over who was gonna have the next coffee at Dunkin' Donuts named after them. Yo, they need to chill, man. My video's about to get taken down for violent and graphic content. Nah, but these two went at it for three rounds, and here was the result. First round, we have 30, 27, Dixie. Second round, 30, 27 for Addison. And the final round, we have scored at 30, 30 in a tie. Yeah. Also, you guys are the champ? Are you kidding me? Don't give us a rematch. Flight then announced that he was having a baby. We are expecting. As you guys see the title of the video, you know what I'm saying? Um, we're expecting. Uh, we don't know the gender yet. How many months are you pregnant, baby girl? Two months? Three, three months. Three months prego. Congrats to Flight. Hopefully he doesn't have a gender reveal party like these other idiots out there. Then Ninja signed a multi-year exclusive live streaming deal with Twitch. Wait, so that means that Twitch recently got Ninja, David Dobrik, and Leafy. Hmm. It's been a good few weeks for Twitch. 